we have been uh, working with uh, civil society uh, groups in, in Darfur, Darfur, the greater Darfur, Niala, Janina, uh, Zalenji, and the whole, the, all the states of Darfur, and also uh, North Sector, which is Al-Fasha. So what we did was, it's all inclusive, it's, it's um, uh, IDPs, nomads, um, if they refugees, movements, as well as civil society groups, lawyers, professionals, and as well as non-professionals. What are the issues? The issues are four issues, four thematic areas. That's justice and reparation, wealth sharing, power sharing, and security. So what we do with the women is we want them to be, to be able to negotiate, to articulate the needs, to reflect first what are those four thematic areas, and to, to skills in negotiation at the peace table, and also to really be, be able to articulate. So the, I will say that then we have 400 women, more than 400 women out of those we selected about 100 to 70 people to go to Doha. In order to do that, we did themselves democratically, it was participatory, democratic, and they, they selected them, so the, the representative. They went to Doha. The Doha peace agreement, the outcome of the Doha peace process, the second one, it has one, there was 30% representation of women, and the outcome document have gender is fully, fully reflected. And we're happy about that now for the last Doha, and the third Doha third, which will have be happening this week, we have 38% of the women of Darfur represented in Doha. And we'll continue, maybe we'll localize it in the future to make it Darfur, Darfur dialogue. And that will be the next step.